Hello and welcome to my 2D RPG tutorial series. So in this video I'll introduce the different features that I'll be implementing throughout this tutorial series. Um, I'll try to implement the most general things for an RPG game, but if you feel like I'm missing something then please let me know in the comment section below. As usual, if you're interested in the project files, you can click the link in the description below to get them, or you can click the link in the end of the video. Okay, so let's take a closer look at the features that we are going to add to this game. As I said before, um, these are just the features that I have thought of at the moment. So if you have something extra, you can always write it in the comment section below. So first of all, we are going to create a game world. And this game world will consist of some different tiles so that we can walk around um, in our world. We will have some trees that we can walk behind and we'll have some walls and everything that uh, we can walk we can't walk into we don't have to walk around so we will try to uh, generate like a very general environment uh, with some obstacles that we will have to handle in different ways so besides the actual game world we will have a player and the player will be able to attack with different spells <clears throat> in our case we will be adding some um, frost spells some fire spells and some lightning spells so he will be able to throw three different kinds of spells and besides that I think I might also add a spell book so that we can actually take the spells and put them on our action bar somehow um, but I, I don't have a picture of that that's just what I'm thinking I'll, I'll go, I'm going to do so when we have a player of course we will also have to um, have some kind of portrait in the game so we can see our player's health and his mana so the player will have health um, that will keep him alive and he will have a mana bar that will indicate if he he's able to throw a new spell or not um, and as you can see some of this is uh, very inspired by how it looks in world of warcraft for example uh, besides that we will need to have some enemies and i'll be adding two different kinds of enemies i will have a melee enemy which uh, is the one to the right of him um, this one can melee attack when he gets close to it and I'll have a ranged enemy uh, which has a bow and arrow and he can shoot arrows at the player. So just to add two different kinds of enemies, we could maybe uh, also make a spell throwing uh, enemy if you want to. We will have some uh, experience bar added to the player. So we will add the functionality for leveling up so when he kills monsters he will gain exp uh, experience and at some point he will gain a level. So we will also be adding a talent tree to the game. And the talent tree will make it possible for us to improve the spells that we have in our game. As you can see here, there are three different um, branches of these, this talent tree. And we'll be able to improve the fireball, the frostbolt, or the lightning bolt. And again here, I'm very open to suggestions for what each talent should do. Should it just improve the damage? Should it uh, make the enemies burn over time? Um, should it freeze the enemies in place? Or should it stun them or something? So um, again, I'm very open to suggestions here. And the point here is to do something like World of Warcraft, right? You click on one talent, then the next one unlocks. And then you should be able to click on the next one and get those uh, buffs from the talent there. Besides that, we will, of course, also have to have a questing system. So we will be adding some NPCs to the game. And those NPCs can hand out some different quests. And I'll try to make some different types of quests. For example, we will have a quest where we may might need to um, gather some different things like apples. So we have to collect some apples around the world. And when we have collected them, then um, the quest is complete and we can go and hand it in and get some exp uh, experience back. Uh, and everything like abandoning the quest, tracking the quest so we can see it when the quest log is closed and everything will uh, be added to this. So we will have a full functioning quest log that will help us uh, find and complete these quests. Um, there will also be kill quests, a simple quest where we have to kill, for example, 10 skeletons or something. Um, so these are two kind of quests, right? We have to collect something or we have to kill something. And we can also combine where we have to kill something to collect whatever they drop. Because we will also have drops in the game. Um, and we can make an RPG without an inventory, of course. So I'll also be adding a separate inventory tutorial for this. Um, I have an inventory tutorial already, but it's very old. It's like almost three years now. And I would like to uh, use this opportunity to create a new inventory tutorial that is up to date for Unity, uh, for the newest version of Unity. And this inventory will work with staggable items, we can have quest items there, we will have different gear and everything in the inventory. So when we kill monsters, we will be able to loot them to get um, some, some different uh, items. So now that we have an inventory system, we will of course also need a character panel. So we will have some different uh, item slots that we will be able to use so we can collect different gear from the monsters. 
and when we equip this gear we will have our stats increase and these stats can be intellect stamina armor avoidance or strength for example um, so i would like uh, if someone has some suggestions what these different stats will do i'm thinking basically just take it like just from world of warcraft or whatever like saying intellect is more mana um, or more spell power or something uh, stamina is just health armor is armor and avoidance is how often you get hit maybe strength would be this weird stat for a wizard but maybe he can throw his spells further or something uh, based on strength but again if you have some suggestions or some stats you think that i'm missing here then please let me know and i'll uh, try to add it and yeah, these different slots will um, give us the ability to equip something. For example, we can take some new gloves on and get some stats from that. And we will also have um, tool tips and everything for, for this. So we can mouse over something and see how many, how much intellect these gloves will give and everything. So I think those are the general things that I'll be adding to this series. Um, if you have some extra suggestions, please let me know and I'll see what I can do to add them. Uh, but I'll take this step by step. We'll start creating the world slowly. We will make the wizard walk around. We'll make him animate and everything. So we'll take everything step by step and slowly build up to creating this complete game. So I hope this series sounds very interesting for you. Um, I hope it's something that you would like to follow and I hope you will like to interact with me and try to come with suggestions for this series. Um, so. Thanks for watching this video.